Hey teachers, in this video I'd like to go over two tools that are available for students in Glynn County, Snap and Read and CoWriter. And for each one, I'm going to do a quick overview, I'll walk you through the installation, and then provide a couple of examples of how you might use this in your classroom. So both of these are Google Chrome extensions, which are small programs that run within the Google Chrome browser, which show up here in the upper right toolbar. And Snap and Read is a screen reader that reads aloud text on web pages. I'm going to click this first button and then click anywhere on the text to begin listening. And it will continue reading till I click the screen again. Get outside and look up at the full moon this weekend to catch the last total lunar eclipse until 2021. I can also use this second button to highlight a paragraph and it will start and stop around the text that I highlighted. While that may sound like a song straight out of a 1970s rock opera, it is actually a term for a type of total lunar eclipse. The third button is a vocabulary leveler. So I'll click the text and notice what happens to the words phenomena and converge. It italicizes the text it changed to an easier synonym or definition. And then when you hover your cursor over the rewording, it shows you the original word. And this last button is a text highlighter that might help some students stay focused on the line that they're reading. So these are assessment results from some of our students that show their current grade level, their independent reading level, and then the level of text that the student was able to comprehend with the use of Snap and Read. So this is a third grader with a second grade independent reading level, comprehending text on a fifth grade level with the use of a text reader. This is a fourth grader reading on a first grade level, comprehending text on a fifth grade level. And this is a fifth grader reading on a second grade level, able to comprehend text at a 7th grade level with the use of Snap and Read. So this could possibly benefit students on any ability level. It might allow them to access text or complex subjects that they're capable of understanding, but their vocabulary or reading level is keeping them from doing so. CoWriter is a writing assistant, so as you type, the program reads your words aloud and offers suggestions for correct spelling. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And most of the time, it'll offer the correct spelling of words that students might be trying to spell phonetically. For example, if I try to spell quick with KW instead of QU, it'll provide me with the correct suggestion. So you'll notice three buttons at the bottom, and the first one is the default type setting, which is what I've had it on so far. The second is the topics button, and this is used to let CoWriter know that if you're going to be typing about a specific topic, it will offer you suggestions more related to that topic. So let's say I'm writing a report about animal cells and I'm writing about mitochondria. Notice how even though I've typed the first three letters, mitochondria isn't listed as a suggestion. And this is where choosing a topic comes in handy. So I'll search for the topic animal cells, toggle it on, and now after typing the first three letters, mitochondria is at the top of the list. And the last button is the speech to text option that takes the audio spoken into a microphone and transcribes it into written words. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. First, make sure the student logs in to the Chrome browser with their school Google account by clicking the person icon at the top right corner. Because after installing these extensions for the first time, the student will not need to go through the installation process again. Their extensions will load on any computer simply by logging into Chrome. And make sure they click Link Data and the blue Turn On button so that the apps will sync to the new computer. The web address to install these programs are snapandread.com and cowriter.com. So let's go to snapandread.com, scroll down and click the Chrome Web Store link, click the blue Add to Chrome button, and click Add Extension. It will say checking for a few minutes while it downloads. Now the gray bullseye means it's installed, but it's not turned on. So click the bullseye, click the toggle button, and once it turns blue, you're ready to use Snap and Read. To install CoWriter, go to CoWriter.com and you'll basically do the same thing. Click the Chrome Web Store link, add to Chrome, add extension, and after a few minutes of downloading, a gray thought bubble will show up at the top right corner of the browser. Click the thought bubble, toggle it on, and once it turns blue, you're ready to use CoWriter. 
These programs are useful for any student because it allows them to access texts beyond whatever their reading abilities may be. Think about how we use assistive technology every day, such as predictive text on our cell phones or listening to news and podcasts as opposed to reading written reports. And while we want to challenge students to practice reading beyond their independent level, there may be times, especially during research, when students find technical documents or articles with advanced vocabulary. Programs like Snap and Read will enable them to work through the advanced material without giving up. Teachers might upload or link to articles to their teacher website or Google Classroom and have students access the text with Snap and Read. CoWriter might be used with anything requiring a constructive response or note taking in any subject area, especially used within Google Docs. There's many more features in Snap and Read and CoWriter than what I've covered in this video, but hopefully this will get you started. Give students access to these tools and they'll figure out how to use it at a level that's comfortable and beneficial to them.